time it is, Joe? What time's that? Ah, for the business. Shortly. Momentarily. Coming up. Got to get through the, you know, challenger. Nick Lindell makes his announcements. Blah, 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 blah. Business. Amazing Nate Matson outsmarted Atticus Koger, outsmarted me, outsmarted everybody. He instituted that Freebird rule. Any member of the business can challenge for a championship and defend a championship at any time. It looked like Nate was gifting his title shot to Celeste Taylor after Atticus had successfully defended the championship against Celeste in a hard-fought matchup. Nate revealed, oh, my name was still on the contract the whole time. My bad. I lied. Atticus had to defend in his originally scheduled match against Nate Matson, and as a result, Nate Matson won the championship from an already fatigued Koger, and this is Nate's first defense, a Turner's Hall original. The innovator of Aerial Insanity, M Dog 20 Mac Cross, has competed in 28 different countries across this globe, but he always has called Cleveland, Ohio home. And not only that, Turner's Hall is the place where Mac Cross trained to professionally wrestle some 20 years ago. What a coming of age, what a, 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 a Cinderella story this could be for Mac Cross if he can win a major championship in the same building his entire career started after so much he's accomplished on NWA Power every week, Lucha Underground, Tough Enough, all over the world, he can come back home and win a title tonight. been in the game just as long as Matt Cross, if not a bit longer. And Matson is, is tried and true in his ways. And when you've got that championship, when you're, you've got that title of being the best in Premier, it's hard to argue and it's hard to debate Nate Matson's mindsets. They've certainly worked for him, but what a test it would be. What a coup it would be. For M Dog 20 Matt Cross, if after Nate Matson's months of talking uh, uh, against high flyers, against the style of the day, not only a man with a gymnastics background, but a man that really innovated and revolutionized how we look at high flying wrestling and Matt Cross could unseat Nate Matson for the gold. Well, it's everything that Nate Matson hates. It's everything that he's rebelled against. It's it's the antithesis of Nate Matson and the business's message. And we know that uh, Matt Cross and Nate Matson have, have ran in the same circles before, but never on the same side, if you will. So I'm sure this is a long time coming for Nate Matson. And Nate realized, make no mistake about it, Nate can say very publicly that Matt Cross is, is a gymnast, or Matt Cross uh, doesn't understand how to wrestle the way a real man should, or everything else Nate Matson says. But Matson takes the challenge of Cross very seriously. Matt knows the cross could defeat Matt at the, the drop of a hat. And uh, this is far from the first time these two men have met, and I doubt it'll be the last time either. But uh, Nate Matson needs to be focused. He needs to wrestle a perfect matchup because there's nobody that feels more home in Turner's Hall than Matt Cross. You know, it's where the journey started is. As you said earlier, and it, it, if Nate Matson had this way, it's going to be where the journey ends. I'm not taking anything away from Matt Cross. We know he's one of the most innovative professional wrestlers, not just in Cleveland, but of all time. 
the man can do things and control his body and change direction in, in quite innovative ways, to, to use the term again. But you can't substitute good, old-fashioned professional wrestling, and that's what Nate Matson brings. And that's one of the reasons that Nate Matson is your premier champion, my premier champion, everybody's premier champion. Well, I think the main reason Nate Matson is everybody's premier champion is the fact that he used a contract to hide behind. But he outsmarted his opponent, is what I'm hearing. Nate has not had to face Atticus Cobra straight up one-on-one, -on -one, even keep. Atticus has always either been injured or had just competed. Well, that's not Nate Matson's fault. Case of last month, it was blatantly Nate Matson's fault. Who else thought was it? Well, he, he used his, his cunning and his, his genius to get what he wanted. Well, will he be able to use that same genius to keep what he wants? It's Matt Cross. Matt Cross's first matchup in Turner's Hall since October of 2017. Is that correct? I believe That's been so. a long time. Cross sits in a side headlock, and Matson tried to counter a pinning combination. I find it very intriguing that Matt Cross is currently beating Matson at his own game on the map. Roll through, cross to his feet. Well, certainly Matt Cross is not just high flying. There's a lot of substance to other areas of his game. Both been feeling each other out. Again, the tentative nature of this contest is demonstrative of the respect both have for each other and knowing the dangers that uh, their opponent possesses. Now quickly they can capitalize. Cross back down with a side headlock. And it's almost like Cross looking to, to take Matson's philosophy and shove it back in his own face. A lesson this is too for Sless Taylor and Bruce Gray. Obviously, they they subscribe to the message that that Nate Matson puts out there. But it's always good to to show by example, to lead by example, and that's what Nate Matson does. Not that it needs to be said, but I am a supporter of Nate Matson as well. I mean, and and that's fine. I mean, Matson has a supporter, and that's not a bad thing. If, if, if you subscribe to his ideology, but Matt with a hip toss, drop kick. The fact that Matson feels as Cross goes for the cover and finds two, that everybody that disagrees with him is wrong. And the fact that Matson feels that he has to go through such a, 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 a shortcuts and, and politicking and, and backstabbing and manipulation to prove that his way is better, uh, quite a bit contradictory, if you ask many. And there's more than one way to win a wrestling match. Uh, Matt Cross has his way. Matson has his way. Certainly everybody in Premier has their individual way. And Matson's on top now. It remains to be seen how long he will be. Matson keeps that deliberate pace. I think if this pace quickens to uh, enough of a degree where somebody makes a mistake, it could be have a, game, a major game changer for one of these athletes, as Matson de uh, uh, demonstrating that running into a back elbow, cross on top, and there you see the incredible agility to get out of the way of Matson's offense. One man flapjack nicely done. Nate Matson can turn it around in a hurry. That's one of the aspects of his game that all wrestlers should look upon. Just when you think you have Nate Matson, he pulls out one of the veteran tricks and he gets right back in control as we see him right now. I think Nate Matson never competed in a uh, painting on a pole match or a fashionista street fight. Well, considering we had the first in the history of the industry tonight, I'm going to say I doubt it. Uh, maybe a variation of, of one. Something tells me I doubt we'll see either match stipulation again anytime soon. But it's Matson who has cross measured. We know what's coming next. The high knee lift. How about a. Uh, and he lift to Matt Cross match. Uh, Nate Matson would have just won. He would have, and I'm sure Nate would have preferred it that way. Maybe there's a contract for that in his pocket somewhere. 
Well, let's find out. Well, that's up to you, pal. Nate Matz in the chokehold. Cross in a bad way here. Well, that's true. I mean, that's just how it goes. Detroit and Pittsburgh and Cincinnati and Houston and Dallas and New York and, and Bangor, Maine and, and Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Everybody seems to beat Cleveland every single time. I, I'm not so sure about that. M Dog 20 Mac Cross has had success all over the world. Well, I didn't say I didn't say that he hasn't. I'm just saying in Cleveland, we kind of know how it goes. You know, there is, I will say, as much as I've knocked the, the city of Cleveland, there is some hope, there is some pride, there, there is some greatness. You know, they do have a sign that says now leaving Cleveland. Oh, so, so that's something that they should be really proud of. Cross firing away and that's into the eye. And Matson has, has dictated this tempo throughout. Cross had a, a couple of uh, spurts of offense and uh, a chance to show his agility and, and dexterity, but for the most part, Matson has shut that down. And and while this started in a feeling out process, Matson's done a great job of keeping it in that gear rather than letting M Dog escalate. Well, Matson comes in with a game plan. He's like a smart quarterback. You can come in, you can audible the play, you can change things up at the line, how you need to see fit. But then when you get it rocking and rolling, you just kind of go with what works. Well, that... That was a cross body for two. That could have been dangerous. That didn't quite work for Nate Matson at all. But that did. Uh, yeah, it, it certainly did. That was a... Uh, just a, a spur of the moment counter as the pace quickened. And notice as Matson takes over... All that momentum built, shut right back down. I am proud to call Nate Matson my champion. That, and that's great. I would love to call Matt Cross my champion. Uh, he was the first ever PWO champion, prime wrestling champion. First ever individual to, to win it twice, if I'm correct. And Sunset Flip coming up here, shoulders down, two count only. Now cross the inside cradle. Cross cradles him for two. And that's in the knee. It's really hard for Nate Matson to concentrate when people are yelling at him. Well, I'm so sorry. For well, you should be sorry because it's just going to bring more pain and punishment to Matt Cross. Um, imagine someone yelling out at a wrestling event of all places. Exactly. Stupid kids should be quiet. With their internet and their Nintendos. How old are you? Madison. I don't know the swag, YOLO, yeet that the kids are talking about nowadays. Please never say any of those things again. Matt Cross firing back. Center of the ring. I'm gonna give Nate everything he's got here. But gets the pace that Matson waiting again with a neck breaker. Matson's had an answer for everything. Into the lateral press for two. And that's the great thing about Nate Matson. You can't get the momentum built up against him. Scowl on the face of amazing Nate as he looks to press the advantage further. You just said it amazing. Amazing for a reason. Cross hard into the buckle. Side suplex connects, beautifully done. Textbook execution by Matson, And the two counts keep getting longer and Matson is continuing to wear away at Cross further and further. Well, it's certainly an endurance game when you're in there with Matt Cross. Cuts it cross. Cross to the backslide. Cross to the backslide. Cross again is driving with the legs. Deer fall. Oh, Matson got trapped. And Cross did what he could, but now Matson takes Cross to the floor. And that served to infuriate Matson. He's taking things to the outside, and I'm not sure if this gives Matson any kind of an advantage, but. Matson can't lose the championship on the floor, that's for sure. Well, that's also smart on, be on behalf of the champion. Oh, 
Although I don't think Nate Madsen's thinking about that right now. Oh, cross hits a post. M Dog into the steal. So give it to Nate Madsen. He wants to prove a point. What do they say? Old school's cool? Well, it doesn't get any cooler than Nate Madsen. Well, I don't know if I'd call Nate Madsen cool. He's old school through and through. He thinks he's cooler than the other side of the pillow. Well, he is. He's the bee's knees, the cat's pajamas, and the uh, the dog's bark. A lot of that's Johnny Gargano, who Matson's also fought in Cleveland. And Nate Matson told me he beat him every single time. Well, too. That's not exactly the case. But Matson drops the leg. Second time. Two count only. Now he pulled. He pulled. He pulled. A number of wrestlers aside, Johnny Gargano being one of them, and just told him how it is. And, and, is and that they're, so? And they're always the better for it every single time. So Gargano, all of his success, he owes to Nate Matson. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. you name a, a, a name, a successful name in the world of professional wrestling, Nate Matson has guided that career. How's he got any free time then? That's a lot of people. I didn't say everybody always listens, but oh. Cross firing away now, trying to. Create some distance. Wide open, sleeper hold. Matson caught cross at a sleeper. And if there's any better way to ground a flyer, I couldn't think of one. Well, we're gonna have to get that fashionista pillow out now for uh, Matt Cross, because it's gonna be night-night time. Yeah, if, if Cross fades away here into unconsciousness, Matson retains the championship. Using the ropes for an illegal I, leverage. Now his feet got caught up. He was trying to position himself and just happened to be in the way. Is that so? Yes. See. Happens all the time. You'd be surprised. Well, it's happened again. Can well, you believe that? I mean, you know, that's bound to happen. Look, as soon as. Uh, How many decades do you need to be in the game to learn left ring positioning to not accidentally put your feet on the ropes? Well, as soon as Nate realized that he removed his feet, I'm sure that's what it was. Because he is an honest competitor. Oh, for sure. Do you doubt? Do you believe this stuff you say? That's an again. It does sound good. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, see, it happened again. And see, the referee helped right there. Official Nate Pierce, he did help because somebody needed to do something. Accusing Nate Matson of cheating. You must know a different Nate Matson. That must be it. Yeah, oh, and M Dog the Jawbreaker. You saw Nate use similar earlier. M Dog turns the tides. Both men seem to be at an uh, even impasse right now. And Matson noticed Matson bridged the gap between himself and Cross as soon as he could. No distance for Cross to attempt to mount anything. Now to the opposite side. And M Dog sees the moment there. He's got the feet up. Boom slot connects. Second time. Might be the first time we've seen uh, repeated momentum and offense from uh, Matt Cross. Cross can feel it. Handspring, elbow, the pump kick connects. Benson's down. Is this enough? No. Cross less than half a count away. And Cross has to be thinking, I mean, this could be a career changer for Cross. Imagine Cross, a, a premier regular, representing us as champion. That's the end of the buckle. Cross up and over. I was waiting for him. And Cross can't go shooting star. Nate's to his feet, but Cross. Slipped in behind Matson, but Matson counters close line. Oh, that hammerlock close line could do it near fall. Well, I was just fixing to say that Nate Matson always has an answer. And Matson trying to plead his case uh, as to his, his status. Far be it for me to, to try and 
tell Nate Matson what to do, but he needs to stay on Matt Cross. He, he's, he's got him where he needs him right now. He just needs to try and put that home. Yeah, hey, you're the champion, but maybe not for long. Handful of beard by Matson. Cross tried to reverse match and flip it back around. Back cross off the ropes into a cutter, beautifully done. That gymnast background pays off. And now Cross, if he can hit the shooting star, this match is over. We have a new champion. Wait a minute. That's Sless. Oh, well, thank goodness for Sless. Sless is here creating a diversion with M Dog. Well, I think he's trying to tell the referee and M Dog that uh, Sless is more. Well, I thought uh -oh. the time for that. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Matson was going to use the championship, and Matson downstairs. Well, that's what he gets for 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 stepping on his premier no. championship. And there's that that code breaker, and Matson retains the championship. A lot of moving parts at the end of this matchup in the favor of Nate Matson, who overcomes a very, very tough challenge in M-Dog 20 Matt Cross and retains the premier championship. Well, Joe, we started this night with Nate Matson as your premier champion. We are ending this night with Nate Matson as your premier champion. We have once again, again seen that Sless is more, the business is running smooth. And they're not done yet. Well, Joe, it was a great return, and now we're going to be able to say goodbye to, to Matt Cross, courtesy of the business. Sless and Matson assaulting M-Dog Matt Cross. This match is over, and it's two on one. Matt did nothing to deserve this. Come on, get somebody out here. Well, Joe, if you want to fix it, why don't you go down there and help? Oh, wait a minute. Sonny Afarge. Sless and Matson laid out crumbles earlier. They took their tag team championships a couple of months ago. And Sonny DeFarge is out here to, to help out M-Dog. Uppercut. 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 What's next, Joe? Uppercut. Thank you. Sonny DeFarge is unloading here. Power slam. If the business thinks they can bully people around and back jump and just run roughshod, well, there's a, a number of guys that are going to stand up for what they believe in, too. Well, no, wait, this isn't fair to Sless. No, wait, this matchup is over. This is not... They say Sless is more. It may be Sless is no more. Matt Cross is perched high above. Shooting star press. And dog 20, Matt Cross. Sends the business packing, and while he may not leave with the premier championship, Matt Cross returns home a hero. And what about Sonny DeFarge standing up for his fallen partner well, and taking it to the business? I'll tell you, Sonny DeFarge just put his nose where it didn't belong, and Nate Matson and, and Celeste Taylor, and I know Bruce Gray is going to be seeing this as well. Check out this endorsement. M-Dog giving a nod to DeFarge after DeFarge had his back. Well, having his back was nice, but there's going to be hell to pay for Sonny DeFarge. Of that, I can promise you, Joe. The business leave with their championships, but the challengers mount, and the business may need to regroup. But in the meantime, they have the gold. They have the power. Their business is uh, firmly entrenched in premier lore. But what will happen? the next time Nate Matson has to defend the premier title.